around a dozen people are said by the Iranian judiciary to be facing the death penalty for supporting the widespread protests against the regime. One of them is the Iranian rapper Tomash Salehi. He was arrested in October last year after the start of the Women Live Freedom protest sparked by the death of a young woman in police custody. DW spoke to a close friend of his about his case and their fears for his safety. His lyrics are the reason why too much fans love him and Iran's current rulers hate him. In this music video, published in October, he predicts their downfall. And when tens of thousands in Iran took to the streets to demand an end of the Islamic Republic's theocratic rule, too much joined them and encouraged others to do the same. Believe in this revolution and join the young people who are now on the streets who we hear are being killed every day. We are burning, but we will not let the flame of this revolution go out. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 26th of October, all over Iran. Just four days later, too much disappeared. Until weeks later, a video emerged, which we're deliberately not showing you now. In it, he's blindfolded and forced to apologize. In an exclusive interview with DW, a close friend has described how the video brought even more distress. For 38 days, we were unaware of too much, and it was quite clear to us that they were torturing him during this time. His face, which had lost weight due to torture and pressure, made us all angry and upset. And in my opinion, it showed how weak this regime is, how pathetic they are, that they resort to force like this. One hundred fifty days after his arrest, Tomaj is still in solitary confinement in one of Iran's many prisons. His friends fear for his life because he's indicted with corruption on earth, a charge that carries the death penalty, and because he hasn't even recovered from the injuries he suffered during an earlier detention. <laughs> Unfortunately, just like this time, too much's previous arrest was accompanied by violence. As he said in a YouTube video when he was arrested, ten people surrounded him and they hit him on his head, skull and eyes. And they hit his head on the ground. They even heard one of Too Much's ribs. I think one of his ribs was damaged and broken at the time. But while Iran's rulers might be able to silence Too Much himself for now, Negin and many, many others are being loud. On social media, they are campaigning for his release. Making sure the words of the rapper who used to be their voice are echoed around the world. And I'm joined now in the studio by our Iran expert, Teresa Tropa. Teresa, good to see you. A brave rapper who joined the protest now behind bars. Do we know anything about how he's doing right now? Not very much. We know he's been in solitary confinement ever since he got arrested. And we know from other prisoners how horrible that can be, especially when you're already injured when you go in there, so just like Tomáš was. Um, but unlike many other political prisoners, Tomáš does have a lawyer of his own choice. And we know he got to meet him a couple of times and speak to him. And after that, that lawyer spoke about Tomáš's courage, his strength, uh, that he's still keeping his head up high, that he's apparently not that afraid. Um, despite the fact that nobody knows when his court date will be and despite the fact that he's been charged with waging war against God and corruption on earth, which both carry the death penalty. There are countless reports of human rights abuses in Iranian prisons. Do we know anything about what's going on behind these walls? Not that much, and that's because many of those political prisoners, especially the high-profile ones, are in solitary confinement with little or even no contact to the outside world. 
But what we do know from leaked CCTV footage and also from reports from former prisoners who were then released is that especially uh, in the beginning of a detention, in the so-called interrogation period, um, systematic torture is used, sexual assault, to make the prisoners confess things they never did. And then later, these so-called confessions are then used in court in systematically unfair trials to convict them of things like corruption on earth, for example. And so in um, the last couple of months, this year alone, more than 140 people were executed, some of them for drug charges or crimes like murder, but some only because they took to the street to demand freedom. Tomáš is one of many brave people who did just that, right? Take to the streets, demand more freedom, demand human rights. What motivates them to keep defying the Mullah regime day after day? Anger, mostly. Um, many people just have had enough of the Islamic Republic. You know, many of the people protesting there are young, and they know from social media or, or TV how other people their age live around the world, what freedoms they have, what opportunities. And they're like, they don't want to be denied all those freedoms anymore by the old man ruling over them, especially since the families of these old men often live in the West and enjoy these very freedoms Iranians inside Iran do not have. And the human rights situation in Iran has been criticized basically since the founding of the Islamic Republic or even before, actually. And when under pressure, um, the country's theocratic rulers resort to even more violence, we know that, and that's what they're doing right now. So in the first months of the protest alone, like hundreds of people were killed, tens of thousands were arrested. And um, th that shows that the rallying cry of these protests, which is women, life, freedom, is still very valid and more urgent than ever, maybe. Teresa Tropper, our in-house Iran expert, thank you so much.